because you operate a lot in the digital space. What do you think about him rebranding Twitter? I think it makes sense for what he's doing, right? Like he wants it to be the platform that does X, right? Like a variable that can do anything. I like that like concept. He wants it to be a long form streaming platform. He wants it to be a social media page. He wants it to be a bank. He wants it to be like a million different things. So a lot of people think he made a mistake. I also think it, it may, like it's clean. I think it uh, pays homage to his original business. X, remember X dot yeah. um, which was interesting. He Blazer bought you know he boy. bought that domain back off of them like several years after he sold. Um, it's a good, yeah, it's a good website. I I like it. Um, I'm not a big Twitter slash X user by any means. Um, I wonder if the active user count on on X, I guess now, is better than because like Threads really I think it's peaked, bigger than Threads, and then Threads kind of died off kind of quickly. I don't yeah. see people using it that much. Like I used it for the first couple days, and I was like, oh, another thing. Yeah. I'm not doing this. It was so I I really liked it the first little while because everybody was on it. It was hype, and you know, every time you refresh, there was a million new things to to look through, but the drop off of users was noticeable as somebody using the platform, you know, like I'll, I'll scroll down my thing now and it'll be like from something that somebody posted two days ago or three days ago. Yeah. And I'm like, yeah. I think where Elon's going with that, I, people don't realize this, but if you go to like China or some kind, I don't know if it's just China, but there's a lot of these apps in Asia, specifically china because that's what i know of where they have these everything apps that like <clears throat> you can do literally everything on you pay with them you it's like twitter and instagram mm -hmm. and all this stuff like weibo is one of them it's like the whole your whole life all rolled into one and i'm sure that's a product of the communist party in china but also i was gonna say you think that's scary because now everything you do is wrapped up in one platform and you're like it's, yeah, it's like all the every is. influencer that was dependent on instagram to make a living and that was their sole way of acquiring customers as soon as the instagram made a bunch of changes that were not favorable to creators legacy creators like you know they, yeah. their income got slashed same with when youtube uh, mm -hmm. restructured the way that they were doing payouts i always worry like because i i have to worry about this with my own business you know if i consolidate too much onto one thing even though it's not fitness or internet related like really if you took too many contracts with one bank and yeah care. right like you know i i it's hard to avoid that as a growing company and i know i can't necessarily avoid that luckily now my business is diverse enough where like you know if one goes under like all right that's a huge hit but it's not the end of my business mm -hmm. but like you know imagine you consolidate too much into one service provider or a vendor or something and then now you have kind of like concentrated risk in this one thing well what do you do you know like let's say somebody sues you and then you have everything with chase bank well now chase bank has all of your information they have all your loans like you know, if you miss a credit card payment, what do they just start taking money directly from? You know, it's, it's probably not going to happen, but I think there is something to be said for diversity. So I don't know if that's a great idea for the American people, because if you concentrate too much of your financial life and your private life, like imagine you put like imagine it wasn't Elon Musk or maybe it is. Maybe imagine we, it was you do. Meta. Have, right. So if you, you have your banking with them and like suddenly you'd post something that they disagree with or your the government frozen. disagrees with and then they go in the back door like we've seen evidence of the twitter files right. and they're like gotta restrict this guy you gotta take him off the platform that's a real risk